This video is to demonstrate how to use a dim bulb current limiter to test a guitar amp. Right now I have hooked up a Fender Deluxe Hot Rod. I will start the test with bulb limiting, preheat bulb, soft safe start, reform cap mode in case the, cap, in case the amp hasn't been on in a long time. That will protect the capacitors from excessive surge current. Start the bulb, heat it up so it won't have surge current that a cold bulb has. Go over to test amp. Right now I'm at zero volts. If the amp is shorted, it will stay at zero volts. If the amp is not shorted, it will bounce up a little bit. Bounced up to about 15 volts. That looks perfect. I'll go back to preheat bulb. Now I'll go to low power, which switches to the 60 watt bulb. Knocks the current up to about a half an amp. Go over to test amp. Comes up to 60 volts, 70 volts, 75 volts. 80 volts. It's real slowly charging up the filter capacitors and in fact after about 80 volts the amp will start working here. Go back to preheat bulb. I'll switch to high power. Now I'm in preheat bulb mode. With the 150 watt bulb I'm over an amp. I'll switch over to test amp. Current drops way down. Bulb goes down to brightness. Amps over 100 volts. It's now safe to switch to direct bypass. Now it's direct bypass, 120 volts, and I can just read how much current the amp is pulling. That's it. There's no reason to have the amp in standby mode. You just run the amp in on mode because this gives it all the protection it needs.